Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Process Builder in Java. Our viewer wants to know how to get the command that will be executed before it actually happens. This is crucial for debugging and ensuring that the right commands are being sent to the system. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To retrieve the command executed by the process builder before it runs, we can utilize the command method of the process builder class. In your code, you have defined a command array for the curl command. To print this command before execution, you can log it using the command method. Now, let's look at the complete code snippet. This will show how to log the command and execute it. Finally, after executing the command, you can capture the output from the server response. This will help you verify if the command executed successfully. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To get the command from a process builder before execution, you can use a simple code snippet. First, create a process builder instance with your command. Then, log the command by joining the command array into a string. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get the command that a process builder will execute, you can use a method that constructs a string from the command list. This method ensures that any arguments containing spaces are properly surrounded by quotation marks. The method iterates through each command, checking for spaces. If a command contains spaces, it adds quotation marks around it. Finally, it returns the complete runnable command as a string. This approach ensures that the command is formatted correctly before execution, making it easier to debug and understand what will be run. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.